Our GPS data shows now that we have around 20 million cubic meters of the magma under the sourcing volcanic system accumulated. This is based on this chart on the lower part, that one. But the north-south one also showed something strange. We saw a stretching of the ground. The land was moving in the unusual direction, stretching north-south instead of east-west, which was the direction that we think plate movements happening. Eurasia and North America, the plate boundary is there. And when it pulls apart, we see this kind of grabbing systems and volcanic systems where eruptions happen. This time we saw south-north direction along this valley. And I pointed it in, a, you know, in that direction, these arrows you can see there. This was a strange. What was going on? Now we have this pattern of the earthquakes looking into it. And then we see one earthquake today, which was strangely off the uh, usual trend. And that is what I marked here. And that is exactly on the plate boundary. And when we look at the depth of it, this is at the zero depth, 2.2 kilometers north of the Fagerdesville. That's practically exactly on the plate boundary. We see it. It was a small one. This is the Grindavik Rift Valley. Usually the stretching of the ground causes fall down of the uh, fault lines and the middle part, which is the Green Dovig Rift Valley. As you can see, it has created this kind of fault systems there, a rift. This time, after a north-south movement, a stretching of the ground direction, we had this earthquake out of the uh, normal region, exactly on the plate boundary. This shows to me, as a geologist, this is a transform fault, transferring the movement east-west direction along that uh, you know, plate boundary to the north, which opens up the rift valley, actually. It's sourcing a volcanic system to the east of it, practically can erupt now. It is opening up the ground, which first is started by stretching north-south direction, disengaging the plates, then moving, bang, we have an earthquake, transfer faults can move now and stretch the rift valley. The rift valley is now opening up and making the way for the magma from the sourcing to flow in the direction of the east and flow to the surface. Something like what we saw in the latest eruption in that area. A rift created a crack, a fissure, and that fissure practically erupted. We are defending, of course, the town of the Grindavik with all defenses that we have in that place, but it seems the eruption is closer than what we think with this development. The plates are unlocked. And the way for the magma to reach the surface, it seems, is going to be opened faster than what we thought. The eruption probably is imminent. That's what I think.